who believed what was pretty common among the Roman uh, Empire, and yet at the same time wasn't a Christian. So what, what kinds of things are interesting between them? Um, and as a Neoplatonist, the main difference he has between Plato and his own explanation of things is that there is actually a way for you in this life to merge with the ideas. Physically, you can be one with the ideas. For Plato, you had to die to escape this, this prison house of the soul, right? And then your, your, your soul would be once again connected to the universe. But with Plotinus, if you meditate and disassociate yourself from everything physically, the typical goal of meditative techniques that we still have lots of people teaching today, right? And, and by the way, you can, uh, you can scan someone and watch this happening. So for example, you can have, um, let's see, where's that one? Let's use this one. Um, Actually, a fairly old book already, as you can see, what, 21 years old already. Um, but this is a doctor that put two individuals into a, uh, what was it, an MRI or you know, one, one, of, one of those scanners um, and watched them thinking while they were meditating. And the two individuals, one was a Roman Catholic nun and the other was a Buddhist monk. And he put them both in. And as they went deeper into meditative uh, you know, mental state, he saw that the brain literally was shutting down the different lobes that are associated with our stasis, our, our being focused on the here and now, our, our sight, our hearing, our taste, all the senses, literally done away with. And they, as professional meditators, were able to shut all that down and it lit up a particular part of the brain that became this especially active, which he knew to not be very active in normal brain scans and realized that this particular part of the brain is where we join the universe. We literally can train ourselves through these meditative techniques to be one with everything. And when you do that, you feel all kinds of special uh, rewards of all sorts. So, so if you're familiar with people that meditate and really find it well interesting uh, to do, uh, this is certainly something uh, that the doctor, um, what's his name? Newberg, Andrew Newberg, uh, believes we all, as human beings, we all have this part of the brain and if we train ourselves, and it's a universal, all cultures have these techniques. So, so human, uh, there might be different. So you might be using a mandala to focus on, you might be using the rosary beads, you know, but the, the, the general drift of how this meditation technique you know, is, is very similar throughout all these different, uh, and, and successful. If you get really good at it, you can, you can do this. And his con he's convinced, that, that this, you know, God zone, so to speak, in the brain is there among all of us and it's there for us to, to connect uh, to the universe if you get the right training and do it. And so Plotinus does this and in his Aeneids, um, let's see, easiest way. So Aeneid means the nines, and each of these six books have nine parts. Um, and he's a, into mathematics. He's convinced. Um, I was uh, asking folks earlier if they were familiar with the golden ratio, uh, because my quiz question is, what did you think of the golden ratio? Uh, he 
very fascinated with the golden ratio, so it's something that's um, part of his works. Um, he's also involved in music and how music can be harmonious and so on. Um, so he's convinced that we literally can connect mentally directly to the ideas of Plato through these meditative techniques and through other, other techniques associated with music and things of that sort. So that's the main difference uh, between them. You can physically connect to the universe through our minds. And remember the quiz question? What do you think of the golden ratio? which is involved in architecture, mathematics, we talk about it with regard to beauty. It's just like the, uh, the ratio pi in that it's a um, non-repeating infinite decimal, right? Did I say that right? Math majors. Way, way cool, fascinating. Questions? How, how was this today? Yes? Okay. I can change. Coming closer, by the way. Oh, yeah. no. Don't say that. Winter, so Last year was October, and I remember we still had leaves. <laughs> yeah. We had a lot of tree limbs down and everything. Yeah. It's really heavy. Heavy snowfall for all those leaves. 